This is Full Contact Accounting, Episode 1, QuickBooks Basic Navigation. Hey everybody, welcome to the premiere episode of Full Contact Accounting, the podcast. I'm going to do my best to teach you guys QuickBooks accounting software. And uh, along the way, we're going to learn some accounting and bookkeeping skills. And um, hopefully you guys will have a lot of questions for me and I can have a lot of answers. I'm going to structure this podcast um, pretty much, try to keep it around 10 to 15 minutes, especially since it's video and you kind of have to watch it while you're sitting at your computer. So I don't want it to be really too long, so we can't go too in-depth on a lot of topics, but um, there's going to be an episode every week, so we'll be able to cover, I just want to cover as much information as I can uh, while keeping it within that time frame, the 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to have um, several episodes where I uh, I cover certain topics, but then I want you guys to come to the website at uh, www.fullcontactaccounting.com and uh, submit your questions. Maybe you're using QuickBooks and you're having a problem with something or there's something that you just you don't understand no matter how many times you've you've tried to figure it out. Uh, go to the website. There's a, a link right at the top menu for uh, submit a question. Send me your uh, question or your problem that you're having and um, if I select your question I'll, uh, I'll make a I'll make a new podcast uh, addressing your question. So uh, some of the episodes are going to be straight lessons and some are going to be uh, question and answer type shows. So uh, look forward to that. Uh, a little bit about myself. I'm a, My name is Mike Debia. I'm a CPA here in Massachusetts. I've been working in public accounting for about 12 years now and I've used QuickBooks pretty much that whole time. Uh, I'm a CPA as I said and I'm an advanced certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor and I've been working uh, as a QuickBooks consultant that's been uh, the one of the main areas of my practice for over 10 years now so I really like the program I think it's a great choice for the majority of small businesses and uh, I like helping people understand how to use it and uh, that's what I'm going to do for you guys on this podcast so feel free to visit the website again at www.fullcontactaccounting.com and uh, any questions you might have, feel free to shoot me a, a question. There's a link there to contact me, and then there's a separate link to submit a question for the show. So uh, let's get started with today's lesson. It's going to be a brief overview of um, what QuickBooks is, how it works, what the navigation looks like. Um, one thing I always tell my students when I teach, I teach a live QuickBooks class here at a, a local college. And I'm always telling them, you know, there's more than one way to get to any particular screen in QuickBooks. There's usually three different ways. And uh, for some people, that's confusing. So I just kind of want to give you a uh, quick and dirty overview of, of what that is. So say you want to uh, enter a bill from a vendor. You got a bill in the mail. You need to now record it inside QuickBooks so you can start to track your payables. If you're using this home navigation screen right here where you see all these icons and I say if you are using it because a lot of people don't use it for instance I can click over here the the, the red X at the top of the screen and uh, my home screen is gone now and a lot of people use it this way because they don't like the clutter that that home screen represents with all those icons and um, flowchart arrows and things you can get it back by clicking this home button in the upper left hand corner so don't panic if you uh, if you close it you can always get it back pretty easily so if I again if I want to enter a bill I can go right here to the uh, enter bills icon that's probably the quickest and most direct route you can also go um, up to the vendors menu pretty much any activity that you would do in QuickBooks that's related to a vendor is going to be under this vendors menu and one of the choices right here is enter bills it takes you to the exact same screen it doesn't matter which way you go in 
Uh, then there's the icon bar, which these are all, um, you can customize what shows up on the icon bar, but these are the ones that come on it by default, and you'll see one of them says Bill, and if I hover over it with my mouse, the little pop-up says Enter Bills. If I click that, bang, it's going to bring me to the exact same place again. So that's three different ways to get there so far. Uh, if I can go to the Vendor Center, and again, there's three different ways to go to the Vendor Center, but, um, <clears throat> excuse me. If I bring that up, you'll see it's a uh, it's just a big listing of my vendors, and we're going to cover this in uh, in more detail in a future episode. But say I uh, highlight Cal Telephone, that's the vendor. Obviously, in this uh, sample company file, it's the telephone company. So while while I have their name highlighted, I come up here to this New Transactions button in the very first option, Enter Bills. Click that. It brings me to the same exact screen. The only difference in this case is it, it automatically has Cal Telephone filled in as the vendor information. So, uh, no, I do not want to record this transaction. Okay, so I'm going to close the vendor center. So that's four different ways to get to one screen.